I'm especially pleased and indeed privileged to share this special day with you, the staff and graduates and proud family members of the graduates of Senior Force 39. We must give glory and thanks to the Almighty God. You have made a success of this course after 48 grueling weeks. Congratulations. In these past few years, more and more, we began to hear expressions such as Nigeria's ethnic nationalities. We began to see more identification by race and geopolitical zones. So we have the Ndibo, the Rubares, Arewa, South South, North East, South West, North West, South East, and other parochial descriptions that were hitherto unknown. The vast majority of the populations of the ethnic groups that win some concession or the other never really benefit. So the mere fact that a South South person becomes president did not necessarily translate to prosperity for his ethnic group. Neither was it the case when a president from the Northwest emerged, nor one from the Southwest. When you hear a person say that my tribe has been marginalized, usually what he is saying is appointment. The ethnic card, the ethnic card is an effective bargaining tool. Of the major drawbacks of ethnic chauvinism is the way that it is used to mask wrongdoing and promote impunity. Notice that when people are charged with looting public funds, they quickly find a counter narrative. Oh, it is because I am Yoruba, it is because I am Fulani or Igbo, or the Christians or the Muslims, they are after me. That's why they have found such a large sum of money hidden away somewhere. We must rise above the unproductive ethnic and religious sentiments. We must develop the emotional intelligence required to cope and adapt in a swiftly and constantly changing world. We must adopt a global mindset that seeks to learn from the experiences of other countries, far and near, so that we do not waste valuable time repeating mistakes that we should have learned from and learned to avoid. One of those lessons is that today's wars, for example, never really end. This should be a sobering lesson to us in Nigeria as we contend with forces who seek to stop violence and bloodshed in our country. As members of the armed forces, especially its elite, with a mandate to protect Nigeria from all forms of internal and external aggression, you will increasingly be judged as much on the basis of your success online as on your successes on the conventional battlefield. As you make your way out of this hallowed hall of this institution into the field, as you would describe it, you have huge roles to play in the way Nigeria turns out in the years and decades ahead. Even though the days of military rule are now well behind us as a nation, the role of the military is still as critical as ever and not just in the traditional areas of deterring threats and protecting lives and property. The military of the 21st century must realize that it has a role to play in supplying reinforcement to the good side in the clash of ideas that today define the world. Ideas of moderation, tolerance, and sensible versus ideas of extremism, xenophobia, and terror. The battle is not just to defeat the terrorists, the greater battle is to defeat the ideology and mindset that feeds the madness and to cut off its oxygen, money, and publicity. The great challenge and the wonderful opportunity for this generation of the Nigerian elite, of which you and I are a part, is to build a new Nigeria. Out of the rubble of cynicism, of division, and suspicions, we can build a new nation. A new nation built on trust, consensus and love for one another, and one in which our country is truly united. Our leadership must be courageous. What courage means in times like this is the courage and willingness to be abused and insulted by our own people. The humiliation of being heckled for making concessions 
is the price of the privilege of leadership. The opportunity to go down in history as builders of the new Nigeria now beckons. And I trust that you will hit the score. Finally, I pray for you that your road henceforth will be laden with favor and grace in Jesus' name.